According to Ahadi Kenya CEO Stanley Kamau, the mentally challenged and disabled persons in the community who are affected by jiggers are taken advantage of because they are defenseless. So it's upon you, the society, to make sure that you report those cases. And those who commit such offenses, we have the government, national government here, we have the county government here, stern action must be taken for those who commit such offenses. Kamau, who took the anti-jigger campaign to Gitungano Primary School in Kiharu constituency of Muranga County, said that a survey done revealed that cases of rape and sodomy among those infected by jiggers are on the rise and go unreported. Hence, the victims do not seek treatment due to poverty and ignorance. Muranga women representative in the National Assembly, Sabina Chege, blamed the rise in sexual violence in the area on consumption of illicit brew and urged Nairobi Women's Hospital Management to consider opening a branch in the county. What I'll say, I think alcoholism is one of the main causes of uh, the rape cases we're experiencing. And I think the best way forward is first and foremost, one, for we reduce the licensing of the bars that are selling alcohol products. Number two is that we need to vet the kind of brews that are coming in because we need to revive our fight against illicit brew. And we are going to make sure that we provide services and especially those who are invested with jiggers, mentally handicapped, people who are disadvantaged, who are being sexually abused. And we are going to give absolute free services for them so that then we can also rehabilitate them, not just the medical part, but also counselling. The Muranga County Assembly passed a motion recommending the setting up of a forensic lab to aid in the solving of rape cases in the area. Lola Nanjala reporting for the Lunchtime News.